Hey, what's going on guys? Thought I would show you a quick fix for the MWS loading nozzle. If you're having an issue with your bolt basically uh, kind of jamming, not loading DBs into your chamber. Um, what's, <clears throat> what's the problem is this, this little pickup arm here. This is what picks up the BBs and chambers them. And you'll notice if you have this issue that this might get bent upwards. Now, if that's happening, there's probably something else going on causing that, <clears throat> but uh, which you'll need to address or else it'll, it'll, the problem will keep repeating itself. But um, sometimes, sometimes not. I've heard of people doing this fix and then it's been fine afterwards. Uh, but the fix is basically if this, this, is, this one is actually fine. I don't have an example of one that's kind of uh, damaged, but what will happen is this BB, uh, this, this pickup arm will be bent upwards so it'll be kind of at an angle like that instead of nice and flat how it should be and all you need to do is heat it up i would suggest using a heat gun or a hair dryer if you don't have it i wouldn't use a lighter because that direct flame <coughs> um, heat source could you know that could start melting plastic but if you just have a nice uh, heat gun or a dryer it'll it'll warm up the plastic to the point where it's malleable and then um, what you can do is just take a flathead and just kind of run it, run it over there or some kind of tool and kind of apply some downward pressure until that's flat again. And then the key is to, once you get it in the correct position to hold it there, you know, for a few seconds until the plastic kind of cools back down and it's formed into that new shape. If you just kind of bend it down flat and then pull it off well, it, while the plastic's still cooling, it might kind of start bending back up again. So yeah, I think the key there is just um, heat it up, form it and hold it until until it's uh, fully cooled and then, and then it should just kind of hold that shape. So that's a quick fix for that. But um, one of the possible root causes to that issue is what I found anyways, I, you know, I don't know. I've had, I've seen this issue is pretty, it's pretty difficult to troubleshoot and it drove me nuts. I had a, this happen on uh, some HAL receivers that I had. I've seen this on other aftermarket receivers. Um, the Angry Gun kit, M733, I was having this issue, but I, I seem to have fixed that. But what, and, and also even on some stock, um, Toki Maruis. Uh, I've seen a couple people recently posting them on their MTRs. One guy on his Mark 18, my buddy's MTR. And these all seem to be new, new batch guns. Uh, like within the last few months or so, I've never heard of people complaining of this before. I've had multiple NWS receivers. I'd never had this issue on any of my guns. But with my buddies, um, in his instance, what we found was looking, you know, comparing to my guns, I don't know if you can see, but there's this little uh, lip here formed into the upper receiver. And on his, it was noticeably shallower, like thinner than, than all of mine are, you know, noticeably. And it also had kind of a rough burr kind of machining line on there. Um, so that seems weird to me. I don't know if TM... They had a bad batch or they changed their specs, which wouldn't make sense because everything was working fine before. But that was definitely the issue for him. And we couldn't figure it out. I tried swapping out, you know, hop ups, nozzles and barrel. We tried everything. And then finally, I noticed we, we noticed that this was different on his. And so what we did was we just shimmed that up. And now it's been working fine ever since. So what this thing does right here is it's a little shelf and... You know, when you have your lower assembled and you insert a magazine, it mates up with um, with this little uh, shelf on the magazine there. So it'll kind of just fit in there like that. And it keeps the mag secure. So, you know, my, my mags, um, they all have a little bit of play in the mag well, but it's never caused an issue. But his has noticeably more play and it was due to that shelf being being too thin so this wasn't getting a good lock up right on the mag after we shimmed it we ended up just you know we just used some tape it's kind of jerry rig for now it's, it's it's been holding but it's probably not a permanent solution um but we shimmed it up and now his mag wells are like dead dead tight in the mag well and then the problem went away so 
yeah, that was that's something to look at if you're having this issue. Um, you know, more permanent fix instead of just shimming up with some tape might be adding some uh, some bondo or some kind of you know filler and then kind of filing it down. Um, we haven't really figured that part out yet, but so far the tape's holding up well. Um, and you know, I think it's added benefit too, uh, theoretically, I guess, is that if you have less magwell play, that means the mag's staying secure in the position it should be, and your your gasket on your mag should be lining up nice nicely with the um, with the bolt uh, with the nozzle. So theoretically, it could give you better seal, um, you know, better performance. I tried chronoing it and didn't really notice real really noticeable difference but that is a possible added side benefit so what will happen is if your bolt is um basically just jamming up right and it won't it won't fully it won't fully cycle um, it'll probably look something like that and then can kind of stuck not load the bb and essentially if if that if that shelf thing is the issue, it's kind of got too much play and it's kind of riding, the mag's kind of riding down. So the bolt's kind of riding over the top of it instead of right in the BB channel, picking up the BB. And then and then that's causing pressure and it eventually starts bending that arm, which leads to uh, the fix I was talking about in the beginning. So yeah, just heat that up. It's a real easy fix, takes, takes you know, all of a minute but um, definitely research if there's something else causing that issue. Um, yep, I think that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. Hope that helps. Take her easy.